In this video, I'll show you more shortcuts. We have already learned many shortcuts from previous videos, but these ones are dedicated to text editing. Let's quickly start with some basic navigational keys and then we can progress to some advanced shortcuts for professionals. We can move around text using arrow keys. So the right arrow key moves it forward, the left arrow key moves it back and up and down and so on. I can modify this using the option and command keys. So I will now hold the option key down and use the right arrow and you can see the cursor will start jumping the text word by word. Holding down command key takes you to the end of the line. So press command and the right arrow and the cursor will appear at the end of the line. We also know that when you hold the shift key down, you are going to select the text instead of just moving the cursor. So we can try to combine this. Hold down the shift key the whole time and click on right arrow to select one character. Use option click to select another word or the command right arrow to select the whole row. Very handy use of simple arrows. But now it's time to see some real editing shortcuts. We will start with the basics. First we need to select the text. We can select it all using command A shortcut. Or just drag and select any portion of the text you want. Now we can copy the text with traditional command C key. And use command B to paste it. Now we have it duplicated here. So let's delete it again with the delete button. If you press that button once it will delete it letter by letter or the whole selection. If you hold it, it will start deleting it continuously. But if you want to delete word by word, simply hold the option key and press delete. It's similar to the selection before. More advanced shortcut is replacing the well-known forward delete button. Combination Fn plus delete will start deleting from the front. Fn option delete will delete the whole word in front. Now imagine you have deleted something wrong. The most useful combination of all is command Z. You might remember this shortcut already from the video about Finder. It worked there like the undo button. And it works exactly the same way here. What extra we will learn about it now is to redo the undo. Yes, as weird as it sounds, it's a useful function. So basic command Z will undo the previous thing you did. And you can press it as many times to undo one by one. But if you undo too much, you can also move forward with the shift command Z. Another very useful shortcut is used for copying style of the text. In Microsoft Word you are probably familiar with this paintbrush icon, but you don't have it in pages or notes or text edit. So it's replaced by shortcut. And the shortcut is option command C, which copies the style of the selection. It doesn't copy the text, just the style. Now, you can select another text where you want to use the same style you just copied and press option command V. So it's basically the same as copying text, just by adding option button to it. One step further is copy and paste by matching style. It's already an advanced combination of four keys. It's shift option command V. But let's go through it logically. Command V is the simple paste shortcut. We have added option in the previous part of this video which worked as copying the style. And the last step we will do it now is to add the shift to copy the text as well. You might be asking why I need such a complicated shortcut. But let me show you one clear example when it's really needed. Let's head to Safari and imagine you want to copy some text from a website. In most cases they use different fonts and HTML codes. It doesn't really match your text editor. So you can copy and paste with style to match your document with just one click. Good thing is that if you don't remember the combination but still want to do this command, you can head up to the edit menu and select paste and match style. These are a few of many more shortcuts used in text editor. I don't want to bother you with others which I don't even use myself. So unless you are a professional writer, you will barely use these keys. I might make a video about it later, but for now, I think we know a lot to increase our productivity when working with text. So take the time to learn those that are specific to whatever app you are using. 
but now I know that some people are going to ask for a cheat sheet. So you can print it out and you can have all of these text editing shortcuts on them. So I created one, just go to my website which link is the description and you can download it and print it out for free.